In this video we share on the suffering of Benedict XVI. The last week of October 2022, the St. Paul Seu University of Madrid held a congress on the occasion of Benedict XVI's 95th birthday. In that context, on Wednesday, October 26, German journalist Peter Seewald intervened, who is the Pope Emeritus biographer. Seewald shared that in early October he visited Benedict XVI and had the impression that he is suffering very much because of the present situation of the Church. He said that perhaps God is still keeping him here to give witness to the world. And the biographer added, he is a man who has suffered a lot. We'll see how he will pass into history in the coming years. Asked about the injustices that the Pope Emeritus has faced, Seewald, who is also a writer, answered that one of them is his own failure for not having made known his true personality, with his human grandeur. In his intervention, Seewald highlighted Benedict XVI's genius, his ability to dialogue and the fact that what he prophesied about the Church, has come true. Benedict XVI, who seems to have often warned about the collapse of the Church as we know it, and what is necessary is the era of purification, the biblical separation of the wheat from the chaff in order to restore the Church of the Faithful. Joseph Ratzinger said in 1969, predicting the future, people in a completely planned world will find themselves indescribably lonely. If they have completely lost sight of God, they will feel the full horror of their poverty. Then he will discover a small flock of believers as something completely new. They will discover it as the hope meant for them, the answer they have always sought in secret. And so it seems that the Church is facing very difficult times. The real crisis has barely begun. We have to count on incredible twists and turns. But I am also sure of what will remain at the end, not the Church of the political cult, which died with Archbishop Jean Baptiste Joseph Goebel, but the Church of Faith. It may no longer be the dominant social force to the extent it was until recently, but it will enjoy a fresh flourishing and be recognized as man's home, where he will find both life and hope after death. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.